Johnny Donut Airsoft's got something real special. is a Marushan Constrictor. This heavy duty Marushan revolver is a perfect addition to any airsoft collection. As you open up the box, the first thing you will see is the Constrictor instruction manual. It is all in Japanese, being that I got this in Japan, but the pictures should suffice for anything that you need, like filling the gas or adjusting the hop up. Looking at the gun, it does come plastic wrapped. There is a hex key included, and that is to adjust the hop up and some BBs. First thing I noticed taking this constrictor out of the box is the overall weight. This is a very heavy airsoft revolver. Full metal, only thing that's plastic would be the plastic handguard. Clearly etched is the constrictor trademark. And like I said, this thing is heavy and one hell of a tank. Flipping the revolver to the other side will show the other trademark on the right side of the barrel, made in Japan by Marushin Industry Co. Limited. And like I said previously, the only thing being plastic is this handguard here. Still does look good, but texture feels a little weird, kind of plasticky. Classic Colt logo, if my camera would focus, there it is. Now, being that this is an airsoft revolver, it does take shells. Obviously, load them in one at a time with one BB in each shell. These shells are very difficult to find. If you're lucky enough to come across these X Cartridge Series Marushan full copper shells, count yourself lucky. And they do come at a pretty hefty price tag at about $33 for six. Now filling up the gas, I do suggest using HFC 134A, just like any other revolver. Once a little comes out, you know you're full and ready to go. Adjusting the hop up is also quite easy with the included hex key. Inserting it into the respected hole. Right for more hop and left for less. And finally, moving on to the FPS test. First shot was about 237 and like any other green gas or HFC gas, it will deplete from there, but a solid 220 to 230 FPS was evident. Overall, I do like this gun. The aesthetics are very pleasing, and especially being able to load those shells one at a time. Cons would definitely be the price tag of the shells and the low FPS range. A good friend of mine in the United States asked me to pick this up for him and do a quick review for my channel. Thanks Mason, I know you're watching, I love this gun. And we will see this at Rev 11 in December. I can't wait to bring you all more footage just like this in the future. This has been a Donut Minute. Did he fire six shots or only five? To tell you the truth, I lost track myself in all this excitement. But being that this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk?